Hello, and welcome to the overview module for this online workshop on free speech in K-12 schools. My name is Dr. Elizabeth Meyer, and this module provides an introduction to the First Amendment, as well as an overview of the additional modules available once you have completed this one. The goals for this set of modules is to ensure that educators working in K-12 schools have the knowledge and skills they need to identify sources of potential controversy and conflict around expression in schools, to describe how the First Amendment applies to student and employee expression in K-12 schools, to apply legal principles to case studies of controversial speech acts in schools, and then to be able to act in legal and ethically informed ways to various kinds of speech acts at school. So I decided to develop this set of online modules as a result of my work as a professor in teacher education at the University of Colorado Boulder. I'm a former high school teacher and my research interests are around um, school climate, bullying and harassment, and finding ways to support educators to create safe and engaging learning environments. And I found after the 2016 presidential election, there were rise in reports of incidents of harassing speech in schools, where students were using rhetoric from the presidential campaign to intimidate and harass their peers. And I also learned that the teachers that I worked with, both pre-service and in-service teachers, felt quite unequipped in terms of how to respond effectively when students claimed, quote unquote, free speech to justify their expression. So my hope was to help educators develop a deeper knowledge of the First Amendment in order to strengthen, strengthen their confidence and ability to maintain safe and engaging learning environments. This project uh, was started as a research proposal that I developed in 2017 completed during a fellowship in 2018 that was funded by the newly established University of California National Center for Free Speech and Civic, Civic Engagement. That initial project has sub subsequently been expanded to include additional related work that has been funded by the University of Colorado Boulder's School of Education, Women Investing in the School of Education, and a LEAP Faculty Development Grant. So I want to thank these funders for their supports of this project. So now let's dive in quickly to the actual text of the First Amendment, which as many of you might remember, was passed in 1791 as part of the Bill of Rights, the first 10 amendments to our Constitution. Initially, it was interpreted as only applying to acts of Congress. However, in uh, 1946, there was a lawsuit related to funding of school transportation involving private religious schools, the Everson v. Board of Ed. And this determined that the quote unquote establishment clause, the point in bold asterisk on this slide, should apply to acts of government by the states as well. And as we all know, education not being listed in the constitution is delegated its authority to the states. So this decision in 1946 expanded the interpretation and application of the first amendment to acts by the states. So the available modules that will follow um, include content on student expression, teacher and staff expression, how to balance competing rights such as religion and student or staff expression. Then going more deeply into this context about creationism, intelligent design and evolution. And then finally, a set of various scenarios that have case law helping you interpret and understand how you might respond in your own school setting to help you better understand how to act and apply this in practice. In order to get access to the rest of these modules, I do request that you go to my website and complete a brief survey, and then you will be emailed a link in which you will be able to access the rest of these modules and proceed at your own pace. Each module is 10 to 15 minutes long, and I strongly encourage you to complete these modules with a colleague or a group of colleagues as there are several opportunities to pause the video and reflect and discuss on how you might respond in a given situation. Your learning will be much more meaningful and lasting if you're able to interact with others as you engage with these concepts. Thank you for your time. I hope you find the information in these modules helpful.